Good evening, everyone. I ask you please stand and join me in our opening song. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Stations of the Cross, which will be led today by the La Salette Laity of our parish. You are welcome to walk the stations with us or stay in your pews. Please join me for the opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Mary, Mother of Jesus, you are such a strong example of faithful and selfless love. On Calvary, you sorrowfully but willingly gave up your son as the living sacrifice. As you reminded us in the Nazareth, you, you continue, continue to, to watch, watch over us, us your, children, your children, praying constantly that we may remain faithful to your, to your son. son. May, may his, his life, death, death and, and resurrection, resurrection bear fruit in our lives as we walk with him this way of the cross. May his grace be with us now and forever. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. With loud shouts, however, they persisted in calling for his crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Christ suffered for us. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he was made to suffer, he did not counter with threats. Instead, he delivered himself up, and by his wounds, we were healed. Pilate condemned the Son of God to death. When we turn from Christ's way and follow our own will, we disregard what Jesus did for us. Mary, you came to La Salette to weave over us, your children, and go astray. May your prayers and our openness to God's grace always keep us close to the message of your sister.
The second station, Jesus carries his cross. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Though he was in the form of God, he did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in our likenesses. Jesus, the innocent one, accepted the heavy cross with which he was laden. We, who are so often guilty, murmur and complain when we feel the weight of the sorrows of our life. Our Lady, you appear in the that, wearing the crucifix on your breast. You invite us to bear our cross with God's faith in the face of The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. He grew up like a sapling before him, like a shoot from the parched earth. He had no majestic bearing to catch our eye, no beauty to draw us to him. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. He was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the chastisement that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. Jesus, laden with his cross, bore the weight of our sins and falls. His face pressed to the earth. It was also under the weight of our sins that Our Lady of La Salette sat down upon a stone, covering her face with her hands, weeping for her children. Mother Mary, Mary you pray for us in the last season. May our prayers be joined in the as we make our way to fourth station, Jesus meets his holy mother. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because I am Lord. When his parents brought in the child Jesus, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to be the downfall and rise of many in Israel, a sign that will be opposed, and you yourself shall be pierced with a sword. On the road to Calvary, Mary met her divine son, who was covered with dust and blood. On coming to earth, she found her children disfigured by sin. In each of these occurrences, her heart was broken with grief. Mother of compassion, you ask us to place our faith in your Son's mercy and let go of the hurts and sins of the past. And may your tears wash away our guilt and unite us more closely with Christ as our person. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to bear his cross. 
As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Help carry one another's burdens. In that way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Who would not envy the task of the Cyrenian who carried Jesus' cross? He must have found the burden they put on him very light. Like Simon and Christ himself, we are asked to bear the burdens of this life without counting the cost. Our Lady of La Salette, you teach us the generosity of the cross by wearing the image of Christ. Through your example, may we bear our burdens of constant faith in the saving grace of your Son. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering, knowing pain, like one from whom you turn your face, spurned, and we held him in no esteem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. The body is one and has many members, but all the members, many though they are, are one body. If one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. If one member is honored, all members share its joy. Veronica could not allow the face of Jesus to be covered with dust and blood. She pressed through the soldiers' ranks and respectfully wiped the face of her Savior. Today, other people are needed to respond lovingly by healing the wounds and injustices of our world. The faithful faithful Queen of La Salette, you came to, to make an appeal to our generosity. generosity. We unite ourselves to you and pledge to be reconciled for all those we meet. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time, but he was pierced for our sins, crushed for our iniquity. He bore the punishment that makes us whole. By his wounds, we were healed. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Jesus said to all, whoever wish to be my followers must deny their very selves, take up their cross each day, and follow in my steps. Whoever would save their life will lose it, and whoever lose their life for my sake will save it. In falling the second time, Jesus helps us realize that during our life, we too will sometimes become discouraged. He always invites us to rise again with him.
the eighth station. Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. They shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only son, and they shall grieve over him as one grieves over a firstborn. Jesus wished that the generous woman who followed him to Calvary would not weep over his sufferings, but rather over their sins and the sins of their children. Mary, weeping at La Salette, called to us to do penance. Pray each day and regularly give thanks to God in worship. Mother of compassion, help us to take the steps necessary to keep ourselves healthy in mind, body, and spirit. May we console you, your Son, by our daily lives. Ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. Though harshly treated, he submitted and did not open his mouth, like a lamb led to slaughter, or a sheep silent before shearers, he did not open his mouth. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. I cry out to you, O Lord, I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my cry, for I am brought low indeed. What overwhelmed Jesus was not so much the weight of his sufferings as the obstinacy of those who refused the opportunity to be reconciled. It is to these people that Our Lady of La Salette addressed her consoling words. Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. They look on and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my vestures they cast lots. The soldiers roughly tore off the garments of Jesus. At La Salette, Mary appeared in garments that were only worn by the poor. The simple throne on which she was seated in an attitude of grief was a stone. She called us back to the basics, faith, prayer, and an awareness of God's presence in our daily lives.
Eleventh station, Jesus is crucified. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him, and the criminals there, one on his right and the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And they divided his garments by casting lots. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. They surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can, I can, I can count all my bones. Jesus stretched himself on the cross. His mother beheld it all. Mary appeared at La Salette in an attitude of profound sorrow that her son's self-sacrifice for our sakes sometimes goes unheeded. station, Jesus dies on the cross. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Christ has achieved reconciliation for you in his mortal body by dying, so as to present you to God holy, free from reproach and blame. Jesus offered his life and died on Calvary. He did this for love of us, that we might be reconciled to God. Our Lady of La Salette invites all people to conversion, especially those who feel no need of Christ or his saving grace. Mary, in your loving God, you praise God for all the wondrous things done for us. Like you, may we always give thanks to God, who loved us first and sent Christ to be our reconciled Lord. station, Jesus is laid in the arms of his mother. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arithmia named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Listen, the cry of the daughter of my people. Oh, that my eyes, a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night over the slain of the daughter of my people. Mary offered her son to God and offered herself along with him. At La Salette, Mary showed herself to us with Jesus crucified on her heart. Mother of Christ, just as your son took flesh in you, so now God's Spirit lives in us. Help us to be Christ's hands and heart, his love and forgiveness to all those who bear the burdens. Jesus is laid in the tomb. 
Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Are you not aware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Through baptism into his death we were buried with him, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. Jesus died and was buried in order to teach us to die to sin, to the world, and to ourselves. The Virgin of La Salette, by her tears and her garb, by the instruments of the passion that she wore, by the glory that surrounded her, preached to us this death in the offer of new life. Mary, Mary Mother of our Savior, may his death and resurrection be for us the daily pattern of our living. May we, like John the Baptist, decrease that Christ might increase. Join us for our concluding prayer. Holy Mother of God, your Son is the way, the truth, and the life. At times we feel afraid and alone, in need of glory and assurance and the world can give. Blessed are you for your visit to our Sabbath, where your maternal Lord invited us. Come near, my children, do not be afraid. I am here to tell you the great news. We who fall, who struggle on the daily bread of the cross, we who lack courage and lose heart, are comforted by your presence and strengthened by your words. Mother of reconciliation, through this way of the cross, may the death and resurrection of your Son always awaken a deep appreciation for all that you and your son have done for us. Amen. Our Lady of La Salette, reconciler of sinners, pray without ceasing for us who have recourse to you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. that you picked up, if you could please return it to the narthex basket, that would be wonderful. God bless. Thanks.